Welcome to HeroQuest, fans. Okay, we're, we're getting started a little bit late. I just had some sound issues, but welcome to all our heroes. I see Jacer. I see Wuhithius. I saw Mythos a second ago. Oh, there he is. So some newcomers. And Glasgow Gargoyle is just getting some food. He's going to be back. So it looks like we could have four heroes tonight. That's great. So, those of you who haven't played with us before, I just want to kind of show you the ropes here. So, you're in Discord right now in Quest Talk. If you click on the little, uh, what, what, whatever you call it, thought balloon, word bubble, the little chat icon, you'll actually see the sidebar chat. That's what you want to have to open chat, because that's where we roll our dice, or virtual dice. Other than that, all you need is pencil and paper to keep track of your stuff. I mean, as Zargon, I'll be helping everybody keep track of their stuff, but it is helpful if everybody has kind of their own character sheet, as it were. So let's say you want to roll movement dice. You want to do exclamation, R-O-L-L. -L. You want to do all lowercase space, and then either 2D6 or 1D6. And then it'll do a little roll there. I'll show you what it looks like on screen here in just a moment. And yes, it is reversed. Let me fix that for clarity here. I tend to just rotate it around so it doesn't take up too much screen space. But see there, I rolled an 11. So if I wanted to roll 1d6, I rolled a 3. Now let's say I want to roll combat dice. I want to do exclamation HQ roll space and then if I want to roll three dice I can just type three there I just rolled three skulls but I can also change color depending on the situation and well, I'll tell you when you can use other colors but let's say you wanted to do <clears throat> two white and two black and we got to use lowercase so there I rolled uh, those or there's other colors as well, so like one blue, two green, something like that. But anyway, that's thanks to Ribby. Ribby uh, programmed MentorBot for us, so we can use that in the game for our virtual dice rolls. So any questions about that? No, this seems amazing. <laughs> nice, and welcome, Mythos. You've been... Uh, thanks following us for a while and I, I see you just uh, followed us in the Twitch so thank you for doing that so yeah, yeah we do lots of shout outs so we've got shout out to El Viler for the uh, border graphics that we use in the intermission screens shout out to Ribby for the mentor bot and um, there's lots of other people behind the scenes that help us and support us in various ways all the people that have subbed and followed really appreciated okay so mythos i take it you've played hero quest before though right no i'm okay all right okay well um <clears throat> icy glass goes back welcome so okay we're down to three heroes again okay well i'm not sure if bohetheus is coming back or not um but uh yeah i'd be happy to have him so yeah, just to anyone listening right now in the Twitch chat, you can use your gold coins, your channel points, to influence the quest as we play. Um, if you want to control a hero, of course, you need to actually go into the Discord, join, join voice channel, quest talk. Cheers, dead gamer. Um, so I think Glasgow was here first, so I'll let him. Uh, we're starting a brand new quest here. This is Quest Four: Mage of the Mirror. What hero would you like, Eric Glasgow? I think it would be rude not to take the elf. <laughs> Alright, so you're taking the elf and with all the gear that he had before. And as far as your spells, do you have a preference on... Or do you want to change those or just kind of keep what you had before? Yeah, I'll just keep what I had before. Okay, so we had you with Earth and Hypnotic Blaze as your bonus fourth one. Sounds good. Excellent. 
And I think you have one more use of the Elven Cloak of Passage left. Yes, I believe so. Right, and then I've got you for Fire Resistance, Potion of Vision, two Healing 1d6s, Superior Restoration, Wolf's Bane, Magic Resistance against Damage, two of those, Antidote, Restoration, one and one, Rejuvenation is another 1d6, so it's like you have three of those, three potions of 1d6 healing. Dexterity, you have a toolkit, 760 gold coins to spend. Weapon-wise, you've got a longsword, crossbow, and a warhammer. Warhammer, of course, is four dice. You've got a shield that you're not using, a helmet, a rallying horn that boosts movement of allies. You got your Elven Bracers Artifact, which means you have a maximum of 8 body and 5 mind. Okay. Alright, and I think I saw... Well, Boethius was in and out. Jacer, I think, was second. So, Jacer, uh, what hero would you like? I'd like, like to continue with the Dwarf on this one. Okay. Alright, and Mythos... What would you? What was your preference for a hero? I would like to play the bard. The bard or the barbarian? <laughs> the bard. Ah, the bard. Okay. All right. Well, let me uh, let me get him in all of his glory with his rapier. Just a moment. So we got the orcish bard and his. Um, are you familiar with his three abilities, his three skills? Uh, yeah, abilities? Inspiring Tail, Healing Song, and Lullaby. Excellent. And of course, his rapier with the two dice attack, which can be a diagonal. I've actually added an improvement to the, or upgrade to the rapier. If you combine, oh. if you combine it with a dagger and the enemy attacks you and misses, you can do a one die counterattack. Oh, nice. So now you don't have a uh, dagger yet, but you could purchase one because we do have a shopping phase before the quest begins. I'd like to buy him a dagger. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I guess I put down defense die as three because I have no armor. Uh, well, that's the controversy, isn't it? <clears throat> so what does the actual card say? Because I've only used him one time and I kind of forgot even how we did it that time so it says if he has no metal armor and no shield yeah he can roll one extra hmm. fence die I think up until so the re definitely save up the bracers yeah I was thinking up until the release of the wandering monk I would have said that's not correct um, but I suppose it kind of makes a little bit of sense. Maybe they were going for that. So, sure. So we'll say, yeah, he, he gets three then. So three defense, two attack. One of his spells can come back if he sees an ally roll two white dice or more, right? Yeah. The inspiring tale. And the lullaby is identical to sleep. Okay, Bohithius is back. Welcome. Oh, you having technical issues? Throwing up is a phone. Yeah, Jacer is also on a phone, so he might be able to provide some technical support to help you there. It's not showing that he's muted either. He says it keeps disconnecting. Is that maybe a problem with his uh, internet carrier? Uh, it it could be, cause mine does mine does that once in a while, and then I have to usually like reload, and that's only the, seeing your map, but you don't even have anything shared yet. Cause that's where I usually have the problems is with the, uh, when you start moving the, on the camera. The other problem I had was not accepting the or not clicking the thing for the mic or the speakers. And that's usually in the beginning when I enter the program. And that's when it's asking for permissions. Yeah, so what Berg is referring to and this is a thing. See, I have a, I have a hard time with some of these new rules that they've created that are kind of not in keeping with the old hero quest 
I mean, everybody had a base attack of one, and then when you get a weapon, it replaces that. And everybody has a base defense of two, and every piece of armor adds to it. But here, they're giving you a character where they're saying, oh, if you don't wear armor, you get a bonus. But I took it as non-metal armor means bracers. So if you buy bracers, you get an extra bonus. But if they're doing it similar to, like, the monk, where you have just an innate ability before you add anything to just have, like, extra defense. So I guess if he added bracers, he would still get the bonus. But if he started wearing metal armor, which he's allowed to, he would just lose that extra one. I guess eventually he does max out, so he could have plate mail and a shield and a helmet and whatever. So, but having him start off with three, I mean, <laughs> at this stage in the game, I think he kind of needs it, so I'll allow it. And <clears throat> Jacer as the dwarf definitely has plenty of gold, so he could certainly buy that dagger. So the dwarf is now at 670. Uh, no, 660. Because it'd be 685 minus the 25. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it's 25. My bad. 660. Okay, and so the dwarf has a battle axe, crossbow. I got, it. I got another. How, how much are bracers? 550. Well, I know they raised 550? Yeah. Berg says it's a wash, to be honest. As long term, you better buy heavier armor, but it's a nice starting perk. Yeah, and I'm all for those starting uh, perks. Let me let me buy him bracers. That'll leave me with 110. Okay. Better grab another character sheet here. Sorry, guys. We do this every time we, we start a new quest. We've got stuff, business to take care of. Okay, so I'll run through the dwarf's other stuff, though, while we're doing that. So the dwarf should have battle axe... Crossbow, tower shield. Um, you actually have a set of bracers. Do I? Yeah. So you wouldn't have to buy another set. You could actually give the ones you have. Oh yes, you're right. I do have bracers. Oh yes, I do. Bracers, helmet, chainmail, tower shield, buckler. Okay. So how yeah, about? Yeah, you're right. I'll just pass in the pass in the bracers then. Okay, so you're back. Oh, thank you. 660. Excellent. So you join the party and you get all kinds of loot. Okay, so yeah, the um, the dwarf does. And have I also a... have a flail. Yes. That's right. Uh, battle axe, flail, crossbow. Elven chainmail. Uh, I got fire resistance, uh, magic resistance times two. Uh, for all the effects. Two plus four healings, two antidotes, and one d6 healing. A little different than I see. I mean, I have. Did you use the potion of airwalk? Yeah. Um, oh, and I have an elixir of life. The airwalk. So you have airwalk instead of the d6. Uh, well, the d6 is the one I got at the end from uh, oh, yeah. Glasgow. Okay, let me make sure I got rid of his 1d6. Oh, yes, I do have airwalk. Okay. So, Glasgow, how many air... I mean, how many healing potions do you have? I have you down... Okay, with... so according to what... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, according to my records, I've got... I've got two... Two times 1d6 rejuvenation. I've got one potion of restoration. I've got one potion of superior restoration. And I've got... Antidote. Yeah, well, that's correct. Okay. All right. No problem. Okay, so, um, so Jacer, you've got a potion of battle, fire resistance, two magic resistance, all 1d6 healing, two plus four healing, airwalk, two antidote. Do you have warmth or not? No, I use that. Okay. Because I think I erased it, but I didn't erase it completely. So I should have just struck through it. That's a much better way to keep track. Okay. I also have that one of you has a potion of magic resistance that has a 50% failure rate. <laughs> Got it from the shady merchant. 
that's not me. I'm far too boring for that. <laughs> well, it's next. I to think your... we gave that to the. Al I, I think we gave that to the alchemist. Alchemist. Okay. Okay. So we'll say magic resist. Fifty percent failure. I think that's the all effects version. Do we have our fourth hero yet? And his name is John Cena. Thanks, Ribby. Yeah, we've got a spot for a fourth hero. If uh... I mean, I was going to say Boethius. I'm on Discord on the phone and watching Twitch on TV. Well, Boethius, I, I'm really sorry. If you're having technical issues, I guess... I mean, we have played before where people just, like, type their answers. But it goes a lot slower. It's kind of up to you. I mean, if you want to try to figure it out, and if you can get in here, we can get you going. But if you'd rather just watch, I mean, it's no problem. You can actually use the Twitch to interact, and you can uh, affect the quest that way. I'm not trying to exclude anybody, just because you're having a, a rough day with your phone. That's kind of bites. Uh, how do you guys want to do your turn order? I'll let you change that every quest if you want. What do you think? I'd like to go either second or third. That way, if a trap is found, I can disarm it. Okay, so the dwarf will go second or third. Elf, are you going first? Or you want to give it to somebody else? Uh, I really don't mind. I'm not precious about that. Uh, we had been playing with the elf going first. Um, it's maybe quite handy having a spellcaster go first. Fair point. So I'm quite happy to go first, but I'm, I'm, I'm also happy to be overruled. <laughs> well, in Mythos, just because you're the new person doesn't mean you have to go last as the bard, but um, you guys can decide what you think is best. Uh, here we are. Well, it depends on the dwarf. Do you want to be third? I can be second. Yeah, that, that's fine. Like I said, this way I'd be able to disarm a trap that was found. The only thing I don't like about being the dwarf, if you end up going first and then you search for the trap, you got to wait a whole other cycle to disarm it. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the elf, got the bard. All right, and Mythos, uh, do you, is your character just going to be named Mythos, or do you have a name for the for the bard? We can call it, yeah, nah. I'm gonna go with the Mythos. Alright. The oldest immortal. Right, so two attack. Four defense. Weapons, dagger. Rapier. Armor, bracers. And I have blocked out two hours, but if you guys want to keep playing longer, I'm certainly open to that. If you want to drop drop out early no harm no foul we're pretty pretty loose pretty informal about the whole thing mm -hmm. um skills for the dwarf yes thanks for reminding me no problem just marking my sheet and looking to see what i need all right so you have faint and heroic charge yeah, there's only so many cards, so sometimes you get the same ones. No, well, faint the reroll, and uh, what was the heroic charge? Two extra combat dice, and your opponent defends with one less. The bard has five body points and four mind points. 1d6 for movement. And his three spells. Inspiring Tale, Lullaby. Oh, Healing Song. Yeah. He yeah, healing song. Like an a AoE effect healing. Yeah, that's right. Because it heals him and everybody nearby. With two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so uh, we begin. But first, uh, we have our shopping phase. And I decided to kind of play it out a little bit with the RPG light stuff. So thank you all for joining. So yeah, if I miss something, if Bohethius says something and I miss it, please let me know. Because if he gets in here, we can certainly add him in. There's other other hero spots open. Okay, so you uh, 
you have the uh, the local tavern here. The elf, the bard, and the... What's this? What's, what's that? What's this tavern full of... I'm saying, what's this tavern full of strapping lads? The elf's interested. <laughs> well, they, they are quite strapping. And uh, these are mercenaries for hire. So we Oh, got... I thought we were in Amsterdam for a moment. <laughs> Not quite. We're trying to keep it PG, but... Um, so we've got uh, we've got uh, a trio of scouts here. We've got a trio of halberdiers, a trio of uh, crossbowmen, and a trio of swordsmen. So if you have the gold and you're willing to uh, hire their services, you certainly can. You can also buy from the armory, and you can buy from the alchemist shop. Now we already have a, had a couple of sales. The uh, the dwarf was already in there buying a couple of things. But uh, what else uh, would you like to spend your gold on? So, have we hired any henchmen so far? Not yet. No. Do we? Do we Can you remember if, if we uh, hire Blade and Zip since they survived? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Or does it have to be there, or do we need the alchemist to hire them again because they were under his command at that time? Um, I would say, he the, he yeah. might be the one that ha does he have it, or who has the warhorn of command? Warhorn of command. Well, and the thing is, he's also got the potion of charm. Unless uh, one of you, before you left, you uh, got it, got that potion from him. We could just say that one of you uh, pocketed it or whatever. <clears throat> Won it from him in a game of chance. So the Potion of Charm will let you hire, I think, up to three mercenaries with a discount. Let me just... Okay. You can hire up to three men-at-arms for 25 gold, less than normal for each. Can you remind me of the price of the, the mercenaries? Yeah. So the swordsmen are 100 per quest. The... Uh, Crossbowman and Halberdier are 75, and the Scout is 50. Hmm. And the Swordsmen, of course, they have low movement, but high attack and high defense. Crossbowmen, of course, have their ranged attack. Actually, the Halberdiers and the Crossbowmen are about the same as far as their stats go. The way I treat the Crossbows, again, is um, they can't hit the uh, surrounding four squares. I mean eight squares, but they can hit out. Now, these crossbowmen are actually ar armed with broadswords as well. So basically you can treat it as they can attack any adjacent enemy with three or distance enemies with three, if they can see them. Whereas the halberdier, just think well, of the I've, eight I've squares got... around, he can hit. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I've got, I've got a fair bit of cash. I've, I'm kind of inclined to, to use this potion of charm if we can and buy us each uh, a mercenary. All right. So you turn on the charm. And uh, which, uh, which mercenaries would you like to hire then? I quite fancy just having a mixture. So maybe uh, one swordsman, one... Uh, one crossbowman and one halberdier. All right, because you've got the you've already got the dwarf to disarm traps for you. Okay. Yes. yes. All right. So maybe, maybe the, so that's two hundred and fifty, I think. Minus the twenty, wait, minus the seventy-five, so one seventy-five. At two fifty, and then we give you back seventy-five. So yeah, you'd have 585. Yeah. 585. Yeah, that's that's what I got. All right. And do you want all three of those mercenaries yourself or are you giving two of them to the other two heroes? No, but I bagsy the swordsman. All right. So I'll use uh so I'll have the swordsman and my and my comrades in arms can fight over the other two. <laughs> I'll use uh Ribby's remarkable rims there so it'll be the same color. Well, since I have a crossbow myself, I'd like the uh, halberdier, and I'd like the the bard to have the other crossbowman. Okie dokie. Sounds good. All right, so the bard yellow will be your color. 
so we can kind of keep track. So yellow for the bard, green for the elf, <clears throat> and blue or purple, whatever shows up on your camera for the uh, for the dwarf. All right, anybody else want to buy anything else? There is this uh, somewhat shady uh, seller of alchemist potions out here. He'll uh, sell you anything that you can buy in here magically, but uh, there's a 50% failure rate on each one. All sales are final. <laughs> and yes, I think the, the original draft notes. <laughs> Did you say pass? <laughs> We're probably passing, right? Yeah. Yeah, not for me. I mean, everybody's got some pretty powerful stuff. Can you remind us of the stats of the henchmen? Yes, so all the henchmen have two body points, and it is quite possible that you can cast spells on them, you can give them potions, you can even give them equipment, technically. Um, if you die, they can uh, carry your stuff for you. So the swordsmen have four attack, five defense, and they only get to move five squares. The crossbowmen and the halberdier are similar. They can each move six squares. They attack with three, defend with two. And all defend of them. three. Oh, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> I thought I had it memorized. I was trying to do it. Okay, yeah. They defend with three. My bad. And they all have two uh, mind points. Is that right? Yep. Two, two mind. body, two mind. <laughs> two body, two mind. Okay. All right, so are we done shopping, or do you want to buy some more equipment or potions and get the armory back up? Yeah, I think, I, think, I think I'm done. Yeah. Um, if anyone wants anything in particular, I've got 500 plus gold coins here, and I'm happy to share. Kind of thinking about the bard. He's uh, new, and he just has... I mean, he's got some better armor. Um, how, yeah. how much is... Uh, uh, how much is a healing potion? Okay, so that'd be five hundred oh. for a one d six. Well, I could I could buy that. So I could I could buy the bard uh, a one d six healing. Okay, so you'd be left with eighty five, Glasgow. Yep. All right, that's a good idea. All right, I want to buy him one too. Oh, look at these so, guys! Uh, bring me down to metal. <laughs> Bring me down to 160. All right. 160 for the dwarf. So now you've got two D6 healings. <clears throat> two D6 healing potions, yeah. So elf, bard, dwarf. It's going to be interesting. All right, are we ready for the quest? Yeah! Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. I just saw I just saw Wardicon redeemed a bonus equipment. So another gift for the party before they set forth. Nice. Yeah, thanks Wardicon. All right, so equipment. We've got a toolkit. Who wants the toolkit? Or who gets the toolkit? <laughs> so the well, it makes sense for the bard, I think. Sure, I can take it. Okay. So that's a 50% chance of disarming a trap. Search for and discover trap. And, uh... Another bonus potion. Thank you, Warden. We're getting all kinds of, kinds of nice things. Alright, bonus potion. Potion of battle. This allows you to reroll your attack dice once. Alright, so who gets the potion of battle? Well, I already have one, so I'm also going to say give it to the bard. Uh, not the elves? Oh, Jace, you, you already had it? Okay. Yeah, I already have one. Um... Gargoyle, then. The dwarf. I mean, you guys you guys figure it out. I, I'm not going to impose it on anybody. Alright, since no one wants it, I'll take it. Yeah! What a pal, what a pal, what a pal. 
Okay, so that was the potion of battle. Yes, thank you very much. Right, let me uh, clear the board here, and we'll get set up for our next quest. Is it possible to get a nice little orc bard logo on the right of screen? Oh yeah, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think this is only the second time we've ever used him. It's kind of a kind of a special occasion. Yeah, and the right and the last time you did use him, it was the pirate. Pirate, that's right. Because I still think of the the uh, inspiring tale as sharpen the swords. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right. Quick and dirty. Ah, right, he's a big fellow. Okay, we'll make him a little smaller there. I feel like I'm doing the Bob Roth thing. Happy little heroes. There, it should be accurate now. All right, gents. All right, we start at the iron door. Well, let me tell you what you're getting yourselves into here first. All right, hero quest, Mage of the Mirror, quest four. The Elven Prospector. Your companions now join you as you begin the first part of your mission to rescue Melandriel, the princess. Queen Torelia wants you to free the royal prospector, who has been imprisoned inside an old mine by Zargon's minions. Only this prospector can identify moon silver, a magical substance that is critical to rescuing the princess. You must enter the mine through the iron door, find the prospector, and then leave through the wooden exit door with the prospector. Good luck. Elf begins. Okay, let's just step in one square, please. All right. Oh yes, and just a quick reminder, um, when there's no monsters on the board, you're certainly allowed to um, move your full movement if you would like. Once monsters are revealed though, I will have your roll, and so on. Subtract Seems fair. what you've used already. Yeah. There's, there's little variations, you'll pick it up as we go. I mean, it's nice. Yeah. Okay, so the door opens. The elf steps in. <coughs> Peering down the hallway. And you do see that up here by the crossroads, there is a stone wall. There's also a double stone wall. And I'll show you the larger view in a second here so you can actually see it. Both sides are blocked. And then there's a closed door. So there's your view, Elf. To the east, there's okay, a stone so... wall. To the north, there's a stone wall. Mm -hmm. And then there's a closed door. Okay, let's search the north corridor for traps. All right, there are no traps. Now you can move your swordsman as well. All right, uh, let's have the swordsman go uh, two squares to the door. Okay. And we'll open the door. All right. Yeah, mercenaries are kind of like miniature heroes. They can do pretty much anything a hero can do. Mm. Alright, so the room is revealed. And you immediately see a stone wall. And it appears to be some type of cell because it is guarded by a portcullis. There's another door at the other end of the of the room. And there are some guards. A trio of Famir. So your first monstrous encounter. Fascinating. Okay, the swordsman is going to go one more square east and one north. All right. And we will attack the Fenir. Okay, four dice. Let's see if it falls. <clears throat> And also shout out to Carl Casey at White Bat Audio on YouTube for the music.
All right, first attack. Two skulls. Femir defends with three. Nothing. Got him. Good job, swordsman. Excellent. <laughs> oh, I forgot to do something here. Okay. One of these uh, Femirs is an elite, so I guess he's the captain. That means he's a bit stronger. The other two were normal. The one you just offed is was uh, a normal one. Okay. Bard. Yes, let's see. Okay. So monsters uh, on the board, so you got to roll for movement. Yeah. Five. The five. How about I place my bard right in front of the regular Fimir? Okay, so one. Is that two, valid? Three, four, five. Yep. Yeah. And I use just my regular rapier attack on him. All right. So you draw your blade. attack two combat dice you missed and I miss the other heroes are like I don't know about this new guy <laughs> <laughs> better not turn traitor <laughs> okay but he was brave he went right for it Okay, you have a crossbowman. Yeah, so the same movement with him then, I guess. Okay, one, two, three, four. All right, where do you want him to end up, I guess? Uh, once, yeah, one step back, yeah. Okay. And then we will shoot the elite guy. All right. How many attack dice was that? Was three. it three? Three. <laughs> oh, yeah. you missed. But Wrestling move. there is a new, yeah, one of our house rules we use is if you get three or more white shields, you get to do yeah. a wrestling move. So uh, do you have a favorite professional wrestling attack? Or if you aren't sure, we actually have a deck of cards that we can draw from for a random fun. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's draw from the deck of, deck. yeah. All right. It's let's a draw, flying draw elbow the... drop. So he, <laughs> so he, uh, he. Does that mean he's like engaging, or is he like he climbs up? Oh, okay. And he just leaps up and just like you know just nails the, <laughs> the Femir. <clears throat> doing one body point oh. of damage. Yeah, it's like a free attack. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. <laughs> now the bad guys can do the same. It's just a lot less likely they're going to get three black shields, but it has happened. Hmm. We just had a an upgrade. A monstrous upgrade. And you can see the absurd animation, which I'm still working on. Thank you, Ribby. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. What should we say? I'm going to say that this other Famir... gets to attack with purple dice. <laughs> okay. All right. Next, the dwarf. All right. I got eight. So I'm going to get into the elite one's face and attack him with the battle axe. All right. 
Go for it. Four dice. Two skulls. Two skulls. All right, the elite defends with blue dice. Ching and a wrestling move. All right, so he's going to do a three point stance clothesline. Just running the dwarf over. <laughs> oh, he goes to the ground. All right, so that's one damage. Yep, down to six already. Yep. All right. Um,. The Albedir is going to go into that other square in the room and attack diagonally. All right. Yeah, the room's already fill, filled up just about. <laughs> okay, so take a three three dice attack. One. We already rolled. Okay. One skull. Okay. It's a hit. Got him. Killed the captain. And then inspired the other one to upgrade. <laughs> okay, monster's turn. Yes, it is. Now remember, potions can be used at any time, so you just have to let me know if you decide to do that. Okay, so the remaining Famir, I think is going to go for the um, go for the bard there. And roll three yeah. purple, two skulls. You got your four defense Ching. and a hit so the purple one is there like double damage or anything or is it just the um yeah plus damage? so I'll show you these are uh, this is what they look like so let's see you've got a skull a double skull a regular skull double white shield regular white shield and the the only black shield is a double, so it's not okay. quite as powerful as a uh, black die, but it's unpredictable. <laughs> Dang! What happened there? Oh, you messed just... up and didn't didn't write purple. <laughs> oh, you're trying to uh, show like the likelihood. A variety of the ah. faces, yeah. Yeah, it's a good point. Okay. Yeah, these are based on the Spiel Saloon Warren uh, dice from Germany. Which, to be fair, other people have reproduced now. They're all fan creations. Nice way to do upgrades. Okay, so... I take one point of damage. damage then. One damage. Alright, let me just record that on there. So Bard is at four. Um... <clears throat> And he's going to move one, two, in front of the portcullis door. Okay, hero's turn. Elf. You're out there in the hall, but looks like there's room for you to move in if you wanted. Okay, so the, the elf rolls six, so can we head into the room and go behind the Femir? One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. And let's clobber him over the head with the Warhammer. Alright, I like it. Four dice.
one skull. One black shield. Ching! Pathetic. He blocked it with his tail. <laughs> uh, remind me, can henchmen stroke mercenaries search? Uh, only the scout, which you guys didn't hire, gets to search for traps. The rest, yeah, they don't have any searching abilities. But they can do uncommon feats. <laughs> if you uh, want to try it. So what's the sword, okay, um, swordsman gonna gonna do? <clears throat> um, right. I just don't want to get into anyone's way, so I think the swordsman will just pass this turn. All right. Bard. Okay, I'm gonna inspire the dwarf with a tail. <laughs> ah. So his so his next uh, combat die will be one extra. Excellent. Awesome. And uh, I guess I can move like one square to the right. All right. Okay, so the dwarf gets a bonus, temporary bonus. Okay, crossbowman. Does he have line of sight? At this point, no. He'd have no. to move to that square. It's really his only. Then yeah, then he passed. Well, okay. he has a broadsword. Also, so you can move right next to him and attack with the broadsword. Oh. oh, okay. Okay, He'll okay. be exposed, but he can certainly try it. Ah, let's do it. All right. Brave. All right, so he runs in and strikes with three dice. Three white shields. <laughs> Wrestling move. Should we draw a card for you? <laughs> do it. All right. Are you sure we didn't hire a wrestler? <laughs> Sweet chin music. All right, so he does like all kinds of weird like stuff, and then he goes back and then super kicks the guy in the face. Kapow! He slumps against the door, but then he gets back up. <laughs> Only half damage. <laughs> Yeah, hired a bunch of wrestlers. <laughs> well, you know, they've, they've fallen on hard times, so they picked up weapons and hoped they could make it <laughs> as uh, soldiers of fortune. Okay. All right. Uh, I think that means it is time for the dwarf. All right. Uh, inspiring strike with the mighty axe. All right. So that's five dice. Wrestling move and a hit. All right. Well, first I'll roll my defense. <laughs> Nothing. And a wrestling move. So, uh, do you want to do a card or do you, you got something in mind? Let's go with the card. Right. I like the variety. Stinger splash. Nice. All right. So you toss him in the corner. You run backwards. You jump up and you just throw all your weight onto him and the axe right also. into the steel yeah right into the steel bars yep the unforgiving steel bars all right got him i mean you would have gotten him either way but he's definitely toasted all right the room is clear of monsters uh, I'm just gonna leave the halberdier there. Okay. All right, Zargon. Oh. Let's see. Well, most of you are champions. I'm gonna draw a card. See what I get. All right, I'll save that for later. Okay. Back to the elf. Is this cell just empty? Or can we not see through the portacollis? Okay. All right. So let me explain how that, that new uh, mechanic works. So these are massive iron gates. 
They can be opened under certain circumstances. Each one is different. And heroes and monsters cannot see through a portcullis until it is opened. Okay. So some of them are open but with keys, some are open with brute strength, some of them are triggered by traps elsewhere. All right. That's what they look like up close. So is the idea that we have to try to pull these things open? Yeah, you can try. I mean, you're looking for the Elven Prospector. So he's being held prisoner somewhere. Well, this looks like a cell. And a... Yeah, it does look like a cell. So who knows? The Elven Prospector may already be here. Um, however, I'm tempted to go into this room next to me because, well, what can I say? I'm curious. Um, okay, yeah, so let's, let's open the door. Is he part cat? <laughs> yes. All right. You open the door. All right. <clears throat> Revealing the room. And you see a number of monsters. So there's a Femir right here. A pair of Chaos Warriors. And there's a door here, another door here, and there's another Chaos Warrior guarding that door. And I should also let you know that um, this door itself was a trap. And so as you open it, you hear the portcullis rumble open. Revealing the cell. But it appears that the prisoners inside are not the prospector, but a couple of ogres. And not just any ogres. These appear more mutated and evil looking than any ogres you've ever seen before. Okay, well, your turn isn't over. You just opened the door, so. Now okay, let's <laughs> let's go into the, the, the red room and we'll go to the southeast corner. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And we're going to cast Hypnotic Blaze. Hypnotic Blaze. Oh, that's a very powerful elven ability <clears throat> okay so that means all the monsters in the room are paralyzed by a hypnotic flame unless they can roll is it equal to or less than their mind points Should consult the actual card here Yes, I think that's correct, yes. I'm going to get the exact wording here. But if they roll, the, if they fail, then for three turns, they can't move, attack, or defend themselves. Very powerful. Yes. An illusion of a huge animated flame appears. Every figure in the room or corridor, except for the spellcaster, must roll one red die. Figure that rolls equal to or less. Okay, there's a cash in. Equal to or less than his mind points is unaffected. Greater than his mind points means the figure is paralyzed for three turns. Let's see what. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it, it does so much animation for it, but okay, so Wardicon redeemed a bonus monster. Thank you. A chaos card. Thank you. And a threat card. Alright, so look, looks like we're going to have a big fight here. <clears throat> oh, 
that would have been useful earlier. All right, thank you. Thank you, Dark Forces. Okay, so all right, let's let me do my rolls here to see if any of the monsters are able to resist. All right, so first we're rolling for the Femir. One. Okay, so he has three mine points. So he succeeded. He's fine. Okay. Well, we could actually roll uh, for the three Chaos Warriors. Well, well, we'll make it more dramatic. Okay, so this first one right here. Let's see what he gets. One. I think he's fine because they have three as well. All right, then this next one. The spell is not quite as effective as we'd hoped. Another one? Thank you, oh Ruby, for uh, rigging the dice for me tonight. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so this last one. Surely, two. What? So it had no effect? Well, apparently... That's the way the dice goes. Yep. Okay, rolling a number greater. That means it's paralyzed. Are you allowed to swear on this, or is, it, is that not allowed? <laughs> well, I... I guess I haven't been that strict, but I have edited out later. Go ahead. <laughs> oh. All right. I just I just banged my pen on the desk in frustration. <laughs> that's that's how, that's how it goes sometimes in Hero Quest. All right, a valiant effort. But Wrong stuff. It was uh, it was not to be. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well. That's that's the elf's turn, but uh, you've still got your mercenary. Right, the mercenary is going to plow into the room and attack the Femir. One, two, three, four. Which would have been an easy kill, but now he has to put up with uh, defense. And I should roll for these monsters here. Okay, they're all normal. No elites. All right, one skull and a wrestling move. We did hire wrestlers. <laughs> Ching, so I blocked the attack, but not the wrestling move. All right, so we'll grab a card. Okay, so, so let's just let's just. Uh bang this from your head into the top turnbuckle ten times. <laughs> Alright, so he, he rips the uh, the padding off the turnbuckle, he grabs his head and just clong, clong. The crowd is like counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah! Oh, he's been busted open. Can't believe it. Somebody stop this. Alright, so he took damage. Just, just letting out a bit of frustration. <laughs> Okay. All right. So we pass to the bard. Yeah. I'm going to cast Lullaby on uh, the first ogre. Ah, the first ogre. Okay. Which is a pretty good uh, thing because they have only two mind points. Okay. So I get to roll 1d6 for each of my mind points. If I get a 6... I resist. If not, I stay asleep. So I get two chances. Mm, yeah. Oh, I get six total, but a one and a five. Okay, so he's asleep. Can you guys hear me? Ah, I can hear you now. Hello. You. Yeah. yeah you want. You won't believe why this card didn't work. <laughs> it was going in, in contrast with the uh, with the Twitch uh, on the PlayStation. 
Oh. I was. I turned off Twitch on the PlayStation and it started working. Ah, dang you, Sony! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I, ne I never would have thought of that, but good, good. Uh, Ma I, by accident, I did it by accident. All right, well, Boethius, um, you want to uh, join the adventure as a hero? I would love to. All right. Please. Which uh, hero uh, do you like? We've okay. So the mm -hmm. elf, dwarf, and the bard are already in play. Okay. So, Barda is very supportive, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can play uh, Barbarian? Sure. All right. Okay. Do you have a character sheet? Because he has a lot of gear stashed. <laughs> no problem. All right. Let me know when you're ready, and I'll give you a really long list. And if you're still awake by the end, <laughs> we will continue playing. <laughs> Okay. Glad to have you with us. All right. All right. Okay, so the barbarian is armed with a great sword, which goes by various okay. names. Uh, some call her Molly the Murderess. Others call her Stabby McStab. But the great sword is a four dice attack, and can strike diagonally. Okay. Very powerful. Oh. Okay. And the barbarian is also wearing a helmet and yes. elven chainmail. So the elven chainmail adds two defense. The helmet adds one. So he's an elf. He's an elf barbarian. Yeah, he's an elf friend, you might say. Okay. So he's got five total defense and four total attack. Okay. Okay. And he is uh, he is in possession of the artifact known as the Amulet of the North, and so his body point maximum is okay. actually ten instead of eight. Yes. In addition to that, his mind points are three instead of two. Okay. So he is. Quite, uh, quite a powerful gentleman. Just don't call him a gentleman <laughs> to his face. Uh, what else? All right. Yes, there is more. Okay, he has cold iron plate, but he's not actually using it. Uh, that actually would slow him down if he put it on. But just, just so you know, uh, he has the armband of ice, but there really aren't any icy attacks these days so he just kind of happens to have it he has five, never know five yeah it's true 565 gold coins so in theory he could uh spend some time at the shop before he joins the battle maybe that's why he was taking so long oh thank you Wardakon. yes There's another chaos card for zargon okay uh he has a toolkit And yes. for potions, he has three 1d6 healing potions. Okay. He has a potion of magic resistance, which will resist all magical effects. Okay. He has a potion of resilience, which is two extra defense, one time. Okay. He has a potion of fire resistance, so that's only effective against fire spell attacks. He has another magic resistance that is effective against damage from spells. Only damage. Okay. One of each. Mm -hmm. He has an antidote. Okay. So I believe the antidote is... Uh, Two body points lost from poison can be nullified. Yes. And I got got the cards for reference in case. Ah, perfect, perfect. Excellent. What else? Just 
check. That's here. it. Well, uh, hold on, <laughs> just one moment. I think we already did that. See, I have that he has a potion of charm as well. I'm just gonna go. Okay. So he could hire up to three mercenaries, 25 gold uh, less each. Do you want to hire any mercenaries? <laughs> I think we got plenty of mercenaries, right? How many? How many we got? No, sorry, because uh, uh, I got a li I got a little screen. Uh, three. Okay. Yeah, we have a swordsman. We've, we've got. We've got. And a crossbowman. Well, I'm asking yeah. the, the rest of the group, uh, what, what do you think, guys? It's better to hire an extra one? We've got three mercenaries just now, we're about to have two. We should probably hire an extra one, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, do you guys... The, tell me what what you what you like to, to have extra... Uh, a scout? I'd say a scout can uh, search for traps. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so you'll hire a scout. And normally they're 50 gold coins for their services, but he'll work for you for only 25. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and we'll subtract from your gold, so you'll have 540 left. All right, and you are a champion, so you have a few extra perks. I'm going to tell you what those are in a moment here. <clears throat> or what am I saying? He's a knight, actually. <laughs> Not a knight knight, but I mean, he has... Uh, I have my own upgrade system. So he's got Berserker Fury. Careful aim. Well, he doesn't have a ranged weapon. I could give you a different one. Disarm and Capture. Harry and repost. Okay, so I'll explain what these combat cards are. So these are single use. You can use them any time. They're unique to your character. They cannot be transferred. So Berserker Fury. This would allow you to trade any number of defend dice into attack dice. And you can use okay. these attack dice against any adjacent foes. That's Berserker Fury. And I can okay. explain these to you if you need a reminder. Parry and repost. You can completely parry an attack without taking any damage and immediately follow up with a return attack. And on that return attack, the opponent defends with one less. Okay. So if you chose the Barbarian because you wanted simplicity, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Disarm and capture. So you need a prisoner for information. If you roll enough combat dice to kill an opponent, you can choose to say that that opponent is disarmed and captured instead. Okay. So would be interesting. Well... Okay. Alright. Got it? Got it. Thank you. Alright. Elverg says the Barbarian is going to set up shop across the street from the Elf, and they're going to be like two competing gas stations in opposite corners. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> or I guess some of you guys would call those petrol stations, but uh, we call them gas stations. All right. Very nice. Okay. Um, I think, let's see. Was there something else? I uh, got the Chaos card. Thank you, Ordecon. Something else about the Barbarian. He's got his skills. Attacks with um, the black and the white dice. That's right. Yeah, he gets three black dice for every sword or axe that he uses in combat. Oh, and I almost forgot. He gets uh, one more perk. And that is a combat potion. So let me just see here hey. what he gets. So 
somewhere in here. There's a potion for him. Okay, a potion of strength. And that's the two attack dice for one attack. Alright, potion of charm is used up. Okay, so after... Uh, after a nice. Can uh, you repeat the potion that I got? Sorry. I oh, strength. Got distraction. Strength. Strength. Okay. Yep. Okay. So you start here at the iron door, and did you hear the uh, the mission? I can read that. Read it to you. Right there. Yes, I heard. You heard. Okay. Elven prospector. Must be when there. I twitched. Ah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you start at the door. Go ahead and roll for movement. Two d six. Uh. The exclamation mark roll space two two d six oh. lowercase yeah. perfect oh it's bohemius i was calling you both boethius sorry the philosopher <laughs> <laughs> no worry my bad okay nine a good roll all right so you begin at the door. Where will you go? Uh, to I cannot see the complete board because I'm uh, on the phone right now. So, uh, well, uh, can I reach the closest uh, enemy, or is too far away? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, you can reach. Uh, well, okay, you have your choice. You can either go in. I can attack a diagonally. Yeah, you can attack the um, the ogre from this doorway. You could actually enter the cell and yes. attack the downed ogre, or you can make your way into the red room and attack the chaos warrior. See, because how uh, many hit points have uh, the the ogre in the ground? Uh, the the grounded ogre has ten body points, but he cannot defend himself while he's. Okay. Yeah. These are mutants. They're uh, stronger than your average ogre. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go for the... Uh, and it's full life right now. Yes. The ogre. Yeah. Uh, let's go for the... Um, for the, the chaos warrior. Okay. So he's too honorable to uh, attack the... Okay, so the chaos warriors only have three body points. All right. So when you roll your attack... You're going to be rolling, um, so H exclamation point, HQ roll, space, three, space, black, space, one, space, white. So three black, one white. Actually, I actually don't think you even have to write the word white, but uh, good practice. Uh, so one black, yeah. three white. Yeah, like like one I, white, three black. Or yeah, you could do it that way. You got to put a space between the number and the color. Oh, okay. And you can't edit. You have to retype it. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's okay. That's okay. I do the um, I I copy and then I just keep pasting the HQ roll and a space, and then I just type in the number I need. Yeah, it's your first time, so it takes a little practice. Oh yeah, good point, Ribby. Uh, when it's white, you don't have to put, you don't have to write the word white. If you're doing multicolor. I'm not, I'm not writing it, but it's not working. Let's see. Check your work. You gotta put the number before the color. Or wait. Oh no, it'd be HQ roll three black space one. Um <clears throat> Hate to just do it for you. Oh, Ribby's here. Hey, th hey, Ribby. Uh, you just need a space between the three and the black. Yep, 
Yeah, like Ribby's saying, except do that after HQ roll. Yeah, if you're on a phone, you're you're trying to make sure that you put spaces <laughs> between each uh, and each That's not easy. Yeah, there we go. Okay, one skull. All right, Chaos Warrior defends. Four. Perfect. Thanks, Ruby. Thank you, uh, Cha Ching. The Cast Warrior defends. All right. Now you do have a scout. Scout. Uh, the scout. Uh, yeah. Go close, but don't enter the door. It's... Okay. Uh, you mean to the the first room or to the second room? To the first room, yes. He, uh, it's, it's very yeah, he's little... easy to... <laughs> exactly. Yeah, he's a little bit of a soft I, target, uh, yeah. His work is to scout, not to fight. Yep. Alright. Thank you, guys. Yep. For your patience. Yeah, no problem. Yes. No problem. So try yeah. to your plane. Yeah, your chances I'm glad of you, survival have increased. Everything co cooperated. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, let me put your uh, body points on screen here. There, ten. Okay. All right. It is Zargon's turn. No, it's not. Sorry. Can Can I interrupt? Oh, it's not? Yeah, we were in the middle of the bard going, and then the oh. cross, his crosswoman still has to go, and the dwarf still has to go. My bad. Yeah, I, I guess I just inserted him into the... Okay, well... All right, uh, sorry, go ahead. So, okay, whose turn is it really? Uh, the hey, crossbow. The crossbowman. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm. the, the crossbow is going to shoot the sleeping uh, ogre. All right, go for it. Is it two with crossbow? Uh, three. Okay. All right, oh! Goes. And the ogre gets no defensive roll, so he takes two damage. Already. Pew, pew. All right. And he, he, he's done. Okay, so now the dwarf. Uh, the dwarf moves two spaces to attack the sleeping ogre. One, two. Okay, does he have a diagonal weapon? Oh, the the sleeping one's not in front of me? No, see, I know it's kind of hard to see, but uh, he's actually, like, in the room. There's a square here, so it's like one, two... Oh, yeah, I guess you would be. Never mind. His body is just sprawled across. Okay, yeah, you can attack him. So, Battle Axe. Come join us. Does the, does the dwarf have any champion perks? Um, let's see. Yeah. He does. Thanks for bringing that up. Um, <clears throat> okay, so with an axe, he would have one black die. So you could have one black, three white. Okay. Yeah, he would be a champion by now. Ooh. Skulls. Nice. Hey. It's three more hits. He's half dead. <clears throat> All right, the halberdier. Halberdier is gonna go to the open doorway and attack the Famir diagonally. All right, three dice. 
Believe it or not, he can actually hit him. Yep. Three skulls. Three. All right. Sweet. So after getting some really bad rolls, now you're getting some good ones. Oh, nothing. You wiped him out. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Femir has been slain. Slayer. All right. Now it's really Zargon's turn. Okay, yeah, because we'll just say that the Barbarian got to do his turn early. I was so excited to get him in there. Okay, now Zargon. Okay. All right, well, first thing first, uh, we will try to wake up the Ogre. So he only has two mind points. No six, no six. Yay! Failed. All right, still sleep. All right. Good, because he blocks the other ogre from attacking me. <laughs> yeah, can he stand on his body? Hmm, I don't suppose he can. All right, the ogre is going to try a villainous feat to try to shove the other ogre out of the way so that he can actually get a, an attack in. All right, a skull means success. He failed. <laughs> get your... Lord, butt out of the way! Uh. It's too heavy. Can't push him. All right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, in that case, then Chaos Warriors. Just gonna look at each one. You guys are pretty pretty powerful. Still disappointed about the hypnotic blaze. Yeah, it, it completely failed. 50-50 on three guys. He can't get him. He had a better odd with the Femir, but yeah. And then you roll three ones. That's just nuts. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so the first cast warrior is going to attack the swordsman. Three skulls. Okay, you roll oh. five defense. That could be a kill. Ooh. Nice. So you deflected everything. And you get a wrestling move. Told you he's a wrestler. <laughs> he's totally a wrestler. <laughs> Dice did, packs. Says someone. Uh, Kurgan, did the, did the mercenaries count as heroes? No? Uh, for most practical purposes, yes. Okay. So that does that mean I get... I regain my inspiring tale? Ah. Good point. Yeah. Whoa! Yes. <clears throat> All right, so flying fist drop. So, runs up. Kapow! One hit. Okay, so I, I got damage. So it's kind of like Space Crusade, you know? You, you go in to attack someone and you, you might get hurt yourself. All right, other Chaos Warrior is going to run forward. Undeterred. Two skulls. Swordsman. You can do it. Cha ching. Ah, no damage. Alright, this chaos warrior is going to move forward and attack the elf. Four skulls, elf. Oh. Wow. Oh. So, four damage to the elf. The elf currently hates his life. <laughs> it's down to four. Yeah, the, uh, the Chaos Warrior hated the elf's life as well. <laughs> as you can see. Yeah, the elf's, the elf's, the elf's questioning his value right now. Uh, even the greatest heroes have setbacks. <laughs> okay, uh, well, I guess that's... Let's see, do I have anything else I can... Dastardly things. Alright. <clears throat> Hero's turn. Okay. 
Okay, the elf will attack the Chaos Warrior immediately in front of him with the Warhammer. Alright. Let's see what you got. One skull. Okay, I'm going to drink my Potion of Battle. Ah, and reroll. Now, do I, just, do I reroll everything or just the dice I don't want? Everything. Much Whoa! Better. Three skulls. Okay. All right. Potion of battle has been used. Nothing. You one shot at him. Got him. Payback. All right. You can do a movement roll if you want. Somebody's got to run into those traps, right? Oops. Didn't mean to say that out loud. <laughs> or did I? Mm. Never know. Trixie. Though. Um. Yeah. Let, let's just let's just stay put just now in the corner. <clears throat> okay. All right, swordsman. Okay, the swordsman will attack the Chaos Warrior to the north. All right. Two skulls. Nothing. Two hits. Got him. He regretted his allegiance to the forces of evil okay and the swordsman will move uh, three spaces to the west yep excellent all right bard okay let's uh buff the dwarf again with inspiring tail okay you're gonna need to move out i guess yeah one two spaces uh yeah. right behind him yes. uh, yeah put him behind him okay all right you get out your mandolin and start you know jamming away and patting him on the back like you can do it you can do it you can do it yep so it, it seems to it seems to have an effect. So the crossbow. Let's see. Ooh. Ah, forces of chaos. Definitely gets my attention. Thank you, Wardicon. The thing I like about this is that um, I may not choose to use these right away. I may save them for a boss battle if there is such a thing. Oh. It's really nice. Uh, I moved the crossbow mercenary uh, next to the uh, Dread Knight or Chaos Knight. Okay. And Can then smack him with the what was the long sword they had? Uh, broadsword. Okay. Yeah. All right. One skull. Ching. Oh. <laughs> and an Ching. evil wrestling move has been earned. The Razor's Edge. Alright, gets you on his shoulders. <laughs> Spins you around. Blam! <laughs> the crowd's like, boo! <laughs> but he took one damage. Chaos where he's like, ha, 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 ha. Okay. Good try, though. <laughs> Brave. Yeah. But foolish. Okay. All right. Dwarf. In the cell. 
with the battle axe. It's like, what is this, Cluedo? <laughs> Hero Quest Clue. Starring Tim Curry. <laughs> buy that for a dollar. Second Zargon wrestling move. And roll three ones. We have it on camera. Zargon's a cheat. <laughs> hey, don't blame me. Blame uh, Ribby, whom I may or may not have bribed off camera. You'll just never know. The thing is, the crowd can always uh, overwhelm with their purchases. Oh, wow. Okay. So, uh, one skull and a wrestling move. Just avoid the sleeper hold. <laughs> I get it. It's funny. <clears throat> so, uh, Jay, sir, are you gonna gonna give him a sleeper hold? <laughs> He's already asleep. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Did it have ten body points? Yep. Seven. Okay. So he's taking Great. seven damage. That was too good to pass up, Jacer. So you uh, you put him in a sleeper hold, and then you just kind of like set him back down on the ground <laughs> after that. Give him the bear yeti hug, says Alver. <laughs> it's like you pick him up, you kind of ragdoll him a little bit, and then put him back down on the ground. <laughs> okay. Jay, sir, are you going to move or uh, stay stay put? I think you're muted. <coughs> Jay, sir, if you're done with the dwarf, I'd say Halberdier's available. We lose him. Oh, he's back. Can I move the dwarf south two spaces and then put the halberdier in there? Okay, and then the halberdier moves forward into the same space he was in. Yes, yes, please. Done. All right, and then we have him back. All right, are you attacking the sleeping uh, ogre or the other one? The sleeping one. Okay. Try and kill him before he can wake up. In your dreams. Two more. All right, he's got one left. Oh, that's all I got. All right. On to the barbarian. Barbarian. <laughs> Yes, uh, I think I don't have much of a choice. I'm going to attack. Okay. With honor as a barbarian, he has few choices in life. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so you're going to attack diagonally against the uh, Chaos Warrior? Yes. All right. So, once again, three black, one white. The biggest challenge may just be typing that out, but we'll see what happens. Um, Halloween, uh, uh, not advice. Ah, perfect. <laughs> okay. You can do it. Must have been that inspiring tale. It, it, he, he, caught, he cured some of it in the next room. <laughs> All right. War skulls. Now we're, now we're talking. Yep. Ruby must have felt sorry for you guys. And he, uh, he turned off the, uh, Zargon cheat codes and turned down the hero cheat codes. <laughs> You got him. All right, that room's been cleared of, of evil. Okay. So I'm going to move uh, one square uh, on the left. Go back in the other room. One, two? Yeah, two squares, sorry. Yeah, you would have gotten at least yeah. two. Yes. Then I'm going to uh, move for the... Um, can... Um, can the scout go in the uh, clean room One, and search for traps? Two. 
Oh, you mean search the blue room for traps? The red room. Oh. The one that we just clear yes, from yes, the yes. monster. Yes, certainly. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you want him to end up right here when he's searching? Or <laughs> Well, uh, that is a safe spot for sure. So, okay. yeah, we uh, we right. search for traps. Searching that the red room for traps. Okay, uh, there are no traps. Although he does notice uh, a bit too late the uh, spring-loaded mechanisms in this doorway that are connected to that portcullis, <laughs> but no other traps are connected. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's my turn. All right. Carl Casey going again. All right, Zarga. <laughs> All right, so first thing, I'll try to wake up the uh, ogre once again. This may be his last chance. No six. <laughs> no sixes. Oh, because you said that, it influenced uh, the algorithm. It's voice activated. Okay, so he failed. He's still safe. <laughs> All right. The other ogre, I guess, is just going to move back one. So he's out of range of that enemy. Although, well, I guess I didn't really say... Um, no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. I take that back. He's going to try to shove the guy out of the way again. I'll try that villainous feat. Got a roll skull for success. Okay, this time he succeeded. So he shoved his dead weight to the side. Now I can move forward and attack. All right, and checking the ogre stats here. So he has... Four movement only, six attack, four defend, ten body, two mind. So he attacks the halberdier with six. Elverg says if the barbarian and scout weren't at the bar when the party had started, they may have found that trap. Yeah, you know, that's what happens. Okay, so two skulls. Halberdier defends with three. Ching, and a hit. So the halberdier is still alive, but wounded. Okay, and all right. Just because it's evil, I'm going to play this card: ruthless attack. Uh, let's see. Did you roll any? black dice yes you did okay uh, you lose one body point in addition to any damage suffered from the attack the enemy finds a hole in your defenses as it attacks so that's used up and I've killed the halberdier no. cut a little more deeply than he thought Okay, that mercenary has been slain. Well, it was, it was still worth it for the 50 gold coins that he earned earlier. Yeah. All right. Back to the heroes. <laughs> the Alabardier will disagree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was not, it was not uh, worth it. it. <laughs> uh, Ogre's been sleeping for three turns now, yes. Albert says just had to go check out that Ogre Grog everyone's been talking about. Tell that to his wife. Yeah. Mercenaries. Uh, I'm going to have to start another mercenary roll call. <laughs> See how many uh, perish in this campaign. Because it's a hard one. Okay. Glasgow Gargoyle with the nine. Uh, okay, um, question. If I was standing to immediately to the north of the dwarf, would I have line of sight to the sleeping ogre? 
Yes. Okay, let's do that, and we'll fire our crossbow. Alright. Are you able to get an angle on him? Three dice. Oh! Respectable hit. And you got him. Overkill. And he's out of there. That stack was getting really tall. <laughs> yeah. I kind of wonder if maybe they uh, they were going to give the, the ogres even more than that, but then they realized mm, nine tiles is about as high as we want to go with that figure. <laughs> and start toppling over. Okay. Well done. Swordsman. Okay, so guys, uh, consultation here. I mean, my my original intention was to just plow in and, and attack the ogre with the swordsman here. Uh, however, I'm aware that I'll be blocking any ranged attacks on your turns. Uh, would you rather I didn't do that? Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe we should just let the tankier person engage the ogre then. Can try to lure him out. Yeah, we could try to lure him out. <laughs> I mean, Kur Kurgan's not listening to us at all, so um, he won't know our plan. <laughs> I I can protect this door. You guys can go in the other room and proceed and block him for at least one turn if he's coming. Okay, let's let's give that a try. Okay, so the swordsman will go into the red room, five squares into the red room. I was thinking, uh, you have the meta gaming going on. Like you guys could be like saying what your plan is, but then you're using like DMs to each other, saying like the opposite. <laughs> Secret. Secrets. Okay, I'll pass to the orc bard. Okay, I'm gonna. I mean, we are stacked up in this room, so I'm probably gonna use my healing song. All right. So that means that the barbarian, the dwarf, the elf, and yourself are all within range for that. Yeah. Two butter points healing. All right. Okay, so the elf goes up to six. Bard goes back to five maximum. Dwarf goes back to seven maximum. Thank you. And just in case you're curious, uh, the pirate variation of this was uh, yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'm rolling movement. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so uh, everyone's feeling much, uh, much better. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's place my bar. Uh, is it two squares above my crossbow guy? Three. One, two, three. Okay. So you rolled uh, five. Yeah. One, two, three, four, right there. Uh, okay, let's take one more to the what it, east, I guess. Five. Thank you. Five. Yeah. And I moved the crossbow to the square right beneath uh, the bar. Two. Okay. And I'm done. All right. Yeah. So the crossbowman is at half strength right there. Okay. Dwarf. Uh, 
Can I get a clear shot at him at the ogre? I'm gonna say probably yes. Let's see. Yeah. Some Zargons maybe would disagree, but I'm gonna say yeah. He's just that darn good. Well, you know what? I'll move one to the right then, just so that there's no disagreement, and take the straight, uh, straight shot in. All right. Even as good as he is, he's not taking any chances. <laughs> Berg says, Barbarian should have bought some of the Ogre Grog from the bar. That would have lured him out. <laughs> good idea. Yeah, three skulls. Like, what's this stuff even for? It's like, well, use your imagination. Three skulls, okay. Alright, so this ogre can actually defend himself. It's four defense dice. No. Wow, so three hits. Oh, that's a good start. He's only got seven left. Right to the face! Yep. All right, and since uh, that your mercenary is perished, we pass to the barbarian. Who's after me? Nobody. Um. So. I'm I'm the last in line, I uh, or, or not? I didn't understand that. Sorry, I can I cannot see the oh the order. Yeah, is it uh, cutting off part of your screen? You should be able to see. Hey, uh... I'm what watching a macroscopic screen right now, so oh. I cannot see it. It's outside of the screen. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. So it. Uh, no problem. Yeah, I'm. See if, if if Jacer was there with you, he could like point to your and say like, "Do click this button and it'll." I just want to know if I'm the last in the yes. in, in the sorry. line sorry. or yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, 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 just that. Sorry. Elf bar dwarf. Um, yep. you also haven't been sharing your screen on Discord lately either. I haven't. Well, you got no video up, right? Or I can see the video. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Please don't Krogan do that. Video. Yeah, Krogan has a video. Yeah. Don't do that. Now I cannot oh, see anything. Must have been me. Okay, I just stopped the virtual camera no. and I started it again. Let me uh, let me reset. Maybe if I reset it, you'll be able to see it. So it might just so... I might have to restart. Actually. Yeah. Can you see it now? Now I can see it again. So I'm going in front of the door, okay, and I'm trying on the right feet and uh, taunt the uh, the ogre to the door. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, Your roll. mother was a goblin. What? <laughs> All right, go ahead and uh, roll. what? <laughs> roll uh, one combat die. See what happens. The skull. It's a success. Oh, Skull. There you go. Ah, so he he's he's angry. He's gonna, he's gonna try to come out of there. Hey, your father was an up goblin. <laughs> what? Okay, so uh, <laughs> I guess you're wanting him to just like step forward, so then you wouldn't have to move yeah. back him. Okay, let's just say he uh, he's lured forward. He's like, say that to my face. <laughs> That's it. Do uh, you guys want me to go with the scout to another room to open it, or we want to take care of the uh, the ogre first? Uh, if you do go into another room, maybe the little two by three. Okay. I think so, you guys should definitely uh, run from room to room, just activating rooms, just with 
with no no thought of danger or anything. <laughs> but okay, okay, well, no, I'm just the uh, I'm just placing I'm just placing the uh, the scout close to the uh, um, the front square of the door on the left. Okay. Uh, yeah, would... on the side of the door, so I left the uh, space for the other people to oh, to nice. activate the door. And that's it. I think I understand now. Okay. Did the Barbarian uh, intend to finish his turn on that square, or do we want to be a square to the east? No, uh, my, I, my intention is to stay there and uh, block you at least for one turn, so you can, guys can do damage. Then, uh, let's see what happens. I see, I see. I see, okay, thanks. Strategery. Alright, my turn. All right. Well, um, I can't let those in insults uh, stand. So the ogre is gonna <laughs> unleash a, a brutal attack against the mighty barbarian. Six dice, three skulls, and a wrestling move. Okay, so you got your five defense. Ching ching and one hit and a wrestling move will be a guaranteed hit. The bionic elbow. All right, you weren't paying too careful attention before, but you noticed that he has some uh, polka dot shorts on, and he does some like crazy little like stunt, and then he comes in and like bonks you in the head with his with his elbow. <laughs> Alright, so down to eight. That's it. And the monster just stays put because he's he's angry. <laughs> Alright. Hero's turn. Elf. The elf from Glasgow. Uh, am I allowed to switch to longsword? Yeah. Okay, so I'll do that. And what about arming my shield again? Yes. Okay, so I'm now on to longsword and shield, and I'll attack the ogre diagonally with the longsword. Okay, so that's three dice, and you're defending with six at this point. All right, respectable roll, two skulls. Oh yeah, thanks, Jacer. Jacer, you see my video though now, right? No, I have to keep switching back between Discord and Twitch. Oh, what if you leave and come back? Would that fix it? I tried that twice already. Oh, <laughs> it shoot. didn't seem to do anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Well. That's why rest... I, sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's bad, sometimes it works. That's why I said I think it's a lot of times I just think it's my internet. Oh wow. Okay, but the rest of you can see this the uh, video, right? Yes. All right. Okay. So yes. Two hits. All right, Elf, um, you can move or you can um, use your swordsman there. Um, I'm just thinking um, if, what about uh, Jacer, what's, what are you thinking um, in terms of what you, you want to do to attack? Am I, is my Elf in your way or? Or what? Uh, you're not in my way. I don't really have a diagonal attack. Well, actually, I can switch to a flail. I can attack diagonally with two dice. He's right. 
I think I think you can. Uh, do you have a uh, crossbow? Yeah, but uh, the barbarian's kind of in the way for me to attack from anywhere. Maybe. I oh. well, maybe to the right. Can I? Can I? I don't. I don't know which rule of line I... of sight uh, we're using, so I don't know. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, so the way I treat line of sight is um, an unobstructed line from your figure to theirs. Um, but okay. I, I treat the crossbow as the crossbow is not able to hit the four close diagonals. It needs to be one square okay. out. Okay. Yeah. So if he goes in um, front of the door, he can shoot. Correct. No, can I check? Does the, 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 the oh, repeat one at a time. <laughs> if uh, if the elf go in front of the other door. Can I shoot one? To, I want to understand just to understand the, if the diagonal uh, count as a line of well, sight. Maybe actually that might be the the strategy. If the elf can move two spaces to the right, he can I can move two, two spaces or, to the left or or to the left. I don't know. Yeah, the I, I want to under. I just want to understand. I don't want to oh, yeah, overrule yeah. anything. You understand? Yeah, yeah. So so the elf. What I'm saying is under my understanding of this. This is not how everyone plays, but the elf cannot hit from here, but he could hit from here. Okay. He could shoot from there. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Let's see. That's that what I want to know. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, can I just check uh, the swordsman mercenary? Is that a long sword that he's armed with? No, it's a, it's a unique weapon. It's a two-handed sword that does four dice adjacently only. Oh, it's a unique weapon. All right. Uh, okay. Um... Okay. The elf's just going to. The elf's just going to stay put, and um, I guess we'll move to the swordsman. Um, swordsman, given that he cannot attack diagonally, I think swordsman will just go one east, three north. And let's open that door. Alright, so you open the door to the north. Revealing the room. Alright, and there is a door to the north. Yep, that's all you see. Oh, if you're which screen is real small, you can enlarge it to about the size of whatever the first border it hits by uh, touching it and moving your fingers away. It helps a little bit. Are you talking about like the pinch or the reverse pinch? Yeah, yeah. So, like if you unpinch the screen, it'll get a little bit bigger. It'll snap back to a smaller size, but it'll fit inside your phone a little bit. I don't know if that helps anybody or not. Or I suppose. Well, what I've been finding is if you if you double light. click the videos. Mm -hmm. you guys yeah, if you if you if you if you change the orientation of your phone onto landscape and then double click the video, then it fills up the screen with the video. Yeah, thank you. Oh, and also if you pull up the bottom menu and click show uh, or uncheck show non-video participants it'll get rid of all of our other stuff and it'll only be his camera ah in discord so instead of showing the members you're hiding them yes hey yeah anybody that's not sharing video yes yeah because i'm the only one sharing video good tip okay my swordsman's finished his turn it's on to the bard Okay, so the room was empty. Mm, appears so. Let's see what do we have that uh, the does the dwarf has any attack? 
to do diagonal? No. Yes, he does. Okay. Then I will block him. And uh, what I'm gonna do then is just I'm gonna move. Uh, let's see. I think right now I'm gonna just in case I'm gonna open the door to the red swordsman's right side. It, the door to the east. Alright. I just want to acknowledge in the chat I see RPG Ash. I wonder is that our old friend Amalgam Ash or is that somebody new who just happens to have. <laughs> Cool name. I see also Alta Berian Solar1927. So welcome all to Hero Quest fans. Thanks for joining us. Remember you can use your gold coins in the Twitch chat if you're watching us live on Twitch. You can use your gold coins to influence the quest. Alright. <clears throat> and I'm sorry, did you say you want the bard to open the door? Yeah. Okay. Just checking. See. Do I have to make a run for more ogres? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you see a chaos warrior. I got video. Hey. Oh, I'm nice. <laughs> Good. I'm like, oh, I can't believe. <laughs> you see that we're playing like a totally different game than what you thought we were playing. Okay, there's two chaos warriors there. Some stone walls. Another portcullis door. Vorticon. And a trap. Alright. Buying a skill for the elf, he needs a pick me up this in his time of woe. Uh, so Vorticon just got a skill card for the elf. Careful aim. Ooh. All right, so you take careful aim to hit your opponent with a well-placed shot from an arrow, throwing knife, other type of missile weapon. After rolling your combat dice, multiply by two the final die result and apply the result against your opponent. So. Thank you very much. That could come in very handy. Careful aim. And I think usually when we get that, like it goes to somebody who doesn't, you know, just has a dagger or something. It's like. When you got the crossbow, it's uh, a little more useful. Thanks, Wardicon. Okay, so the uh -huh. door. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm just double checking the note here. Was there a question? And do I still have my action? Yes. All you did was open yeah. the door. Yeah. So, I guess I smacked the Chaos Knight with my rapier. Okay. Maybe two dice. Two skulls. Oh, and I got a roll for elites here. <laughs> No elites, okay. So he rolls defense. Against two skulls, ching, and then one hit. Excellent. Right out of the gate. Crossbowman. I would place him beneath the bard. Does he have line of sight? I'm gonna say no. Okay. It would, it would be like that. So he would miss, and then that one's in the way. 
I mean, I would allow you yep. to do an uncommon feat, but if you fail, you're going to risk hitting the bard. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> let's take a chance. Okay, roll one uh, combat die. If it's a skull, you've succeeded, and you can shoot that... Uh, or one of the Chaos Warriors. Which one are you actually shooting at? Uh, the one um, I attacked with the rapier, so the north. Okay. So <laughs> you fire. The bard is kind of like, you know, his... his uh, <laughs> It whizzes past him. His clothes kind of like blow <laughs> like from the wind of it. <laughs> and uh, it hits. Uh, so let's roll the defense. Oh, you got to roll... Roll the uh, actual three dice for the attack. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was just to see if it succeeded, or it will succeed. He could still miss, I suppose. Yeah. So it's three, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, two skulls, respectable roll. Oh, I defend with four. Two hits. Got him. Yay! That was an heroic effort. And I'm done. All right. <clears throat> Dwarf. So, Jacer. Cheers, dead gamer. Four for rage. <laughs> Six. All right. Um. So if I move four spaces into the bottom corner of the red room, I have a clear shot at the ogre. Yes. Okay. Then I want to do that. One skull. Not bad for going through two doorways. It's a hit. Oh, got him. Got him over. Let's see what we got. One here. more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, four more. All right, so that takes it to the barbarian. Yep. And Yeah. Try your Berserker Fury. Mm -hmm. Could I use it? I mean, I could use a, a push of strength. For that, yeah. Yeah, I'll use that. <laughs> okay. So, should I roll three black and three white? Yeah, that'll do it. of strength. Wow. Not enough. Three skulls. Okay. Ching. Three more damage. One, one left. It was only... You blocked one yeah. of the three skulls. So I'm right. right. good You're right. Too. You're right. Hold on. Oh. Two left then. Yes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to I'm going to move all right Ten. You might be better off staying there I think the bard need help but what do you think the bard 
the Bart. Well, I was just thinking because of your one ability, if he does hit you, you can negate all that of damage and do a counter oh, attack. Oh, yeah. Okay, for that reason. Oh, uh, well, okay, so I will not move. I'll stay there. And with the scout, I'm going to enter in the first square of the small room and search for traps. All right, you search the room for traps. No traps detected. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Back to the ogre. I'm going to attack the barbarian in front of me. Three skulls. So I can use the uh, the power is being suggested <laughs> and block all the attacks. How uh, does it work? The parry. The parry and repost. Parry repost. Okay. So use that. Let's get focus on that. Okay, you're able to completely parry an attack without taking any damage, and immediately follow up with a return attack. The opponent, opponent defends against your attack with one attack die less. Okay, so make your attack, and I only defend with three. Three skulls. This could be it. Cool. Oh, Ooh. too bad it wasn't a hero. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> uh... Apparently his parents were goblins and hobgoblins. I knew it. <laughs> All right. Ogres have been defeated. Well, that was easy. Malgamash, that one was for you. <laughs> you wanted the 10 point, 10 body point ogres. Well, and I feel like that's kind of how they set it up. They wanted you to have a, just a huge battle right at the start of the quest, because who's expecting yeah. that, you know? I wonder how many people uh, decided to just flee out the door <laughs> after a certain point. It's like, <laughs> you know what? I think we need to go back to the armory and we need to buy some more stuff before we're ready for this one. <clears throat> okay. Barbarian. Oh. Oh no, it's uh It's your turn. Yeah, you played the you played okay. the counterattack. Okay. So yes. we still have one monster in the board left. Alright, this Chaos Warrior is gonna move forward and attack the bard. doesn't like its face the cut of his jib One oh okay here we go okay. all right successful defense all right it's the hero's turn Elf. All right, so Glas Glasgow got a nine. Okay, let, let's move all the way up north of the Bard, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine. And and using the using the long sword, we'll attack the chaos warrior. So the Dread Knight rolls his defense. Ching! Barely deflected it. Okay, can the can the swordsman uh, move? Into the small room to the north and up to the door. Four. And let's open the door. Alright, Swordsman Bradley opens the door. And the way I reveal corridors is I say, instead of revealing the entire corridor necessarily, it's just like you're peeking your head out. So you don't necessarily see everything, but you do see a Femir. And I'm going to say you can also see this ogre over here, too. And if you can, Is this ogre a little bit smaller than the other ones? Uh, that's for me to know and you to find out. <laughs> oh, it's a drafty, drafty door. Could you close it, please? <laughs> uh, <laughs> common feature. Like <laughs> no, we're going to just we'll just stand our ground. Okay, I'll just stand my ground and I'll pass over to the bard. All right. Just so you know, um, um, you can smell the ogre from here, and it smells like he's a big one. <laughs> and also that uh, Femir appears to be an elite as well. Okay. My day is just getting better all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Bard. Yeah. Okie dokie. Let's, let's take a swing. The rapier. Alright. The Chaos Warrior. Ow. Oh. Missed. That's not good. Too bad he didn't miss. And you get a counter attack. Alright. Stand your ground or move? Mm. Let's see. Do, do, do. Uh, I think I'm gonna move back one, one step. And then I'm gonna attack with the crossbow guy. Okay. At this point, he doesn't have line of sight. He's gonna have to move. Either close, okay. to swing, or back to fire. Uh, okay, move, move back one to fire. Okay. All right, three dice. Ow! Missed. Yeah, missed. The uh, uh, I want to say so that the the bolt goes right through the little. Uh, the little piece on his uh, helmet, and it doesn't actually hit anything. <laughs> you can't see his expression, but it, it might be a amused expression. Trying to hit the bolt. <laughs> All right, dwarf. Rolling for movement. 
Four. If I move two spaces to the right and one space north, that give me line of sight to shoot the uh, chaos warrior. One, two, three. Or no, then I guess two, and so I'd be just south of the other crossbowman. Yes, you can hit him from there. All right. Oh, three skulls. Three skulls. Wow. Okay. Very nice. Cast Warrior defends. Attempts to defend. Oh. Mm -hmm. Got him. Got him. Good job, Dwarf. The Dwarf was aiming a little bit lower than the crossbowman and got him. Got him. Right right inside the uh, the visor. Right through the eye. That was my move and my action, so barbarian. Oh, um, I I don't know if I can reach the action, so I can try to search uh, for treasures. Okay. Now the question is, are you going to be searching the cell for treasure or the room for treasure? Uh, there, there are two different rooms. Yes. I'm treating them as two different rooms. Oh. Uh... And actually, yeah, that's <laughs> you, you guys, I, I forgot to mention this, but you guys do have three bonus treasure searches that people have cashed in. So, I mean, if you want to uh, search, move, and then search, you could do that. Oh, what do you guys think? I don't know if he's worth it for, uh, for this room. I guess it makes well, sense let's... to search the cell. Okay. Uh, Lantern, you set the cell and uh, search. Alright, you search the cell. It's really smelly in there, but... And are you using a regular search or one of the bonus searches? The bonus searches are safe, so we would ignore any hazards or wandering monsters. No, no, let's do a normal search. Alright, he's brave. He's hoping maybe it'll be a wandering monster so he can get some more combat, I'm, I'm, combat in. I'm searching for exactly. There we go. Oh, but unfortunately it's a hazard. You can't fight those. So some spikes pop up from the, from the floor and poke you. Okay. Oh, too bad. And so your body points go down by one more. Ends your turn. Wordicon. Dang. Wordicon uh, um, not giving up. I need, I need to move the uh, scout. I'm going out from that room. Man. Okay. I think we're uh, trying One to... south. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Two east. Oh, wait. You're leaving the blue room? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> And to uh, on the east. You mean west? West, west sorry. Uh, yes, west. Sorry, right, right, that, that way. Okay, yeah. Right. No, no, it's it's fine. It's uh, it's me. I uh, I mixed it up. Okay, I've done that too. <laughs> Elverg says the barb realizes the ogre grog wasn't as bad as searching through the org cells. <laughs> ogre cells. The ogre grog wasn't as bad. <laughs> Searching through the ogre cells, I get it. I found a a, a bear trap. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's my turn. Thank you. All right, monsters. Hmm. Well, it would make most sense to move the ogre in. Ogren. Okay. So the ogre comes in to attack. Let me switch cameras so you can actually see the bloodletting that's about to happen. Okay, so now he attacks the unfortunate swordsman. 
six dice. Two skulls. Of course, the swordsman gets a healthy five. Ching! No damage. And the Famir. Let's see, what should I do with him? He's gonna move one, two, three. All right, that's going to be it for Zargon. Let's turn. All right, heroes, elf. Um, well, it might help us that this ogre is, if this ogre is as slow as the others, it moves four. So I wonder if we could take some hits and then run off and lure him into us. Because hmm. uh, he might he might be a ten body pointer for all we know. He is. He is. He is um, or be here. Okay. Okay, so all right. So what I'm going to do, I think, with the elf, uh, let's go. Let's go one south, two east. Sorry, two east uh, to the into the other room. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh no, no, no. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, sorry. So what I'm doing is, yeah, yeah. And you're going up to the yeah. Pocalus? Um. Uh, yeah, no, actually what I'll do, before I do that, I'll just go into the room and search for... Uh, search for traps. For traps, okay. Alright. <clears throat> because of the nature of this room, you're only able to search this area, not the area behind the portcullis. And you do not okay. detect any traps here. All right. Okay, so onto the swordsman, and he will attack the ogre. All right. Four dice, two skulls. Ching, and a hit. Nine more. <laughs> okay, and so let's let's go one, two, three. Uh, so we'll take a night move down to the other door. Two, three, four. Wait. Okay. So yes, we'll go two two south, one west. Two, three, and. Um, and then let's go, let's go, uh, one, one more south and one east. Five. Okay, thank you. Hit and run. All right. Bard. Okay, I'm gonna move my bard one to the east. And then I'm gonna move one with the mercenary crossbow uh, north. Can I shoot the ogre from here? Yes. Do I have. Oh, let's do it. No! Missed. 
It was a long shot. Unlucky, nice idea. From downtown. Can't buy a bucket. Yeah. Alright, dwarf. If I move one up and one to the left, do I have line of sight? Yes. Alright, I'm going to take a shot then. Not even going to make you uncommon it. <laughs> Alright, go for it. He's just that good. He's going to rest the crossbow oh. on the other crossbowman's shoulder. Did he miss? Who? No. You, you did it. Okay. Shot him between his legs. <laughs> Ching. Oh no! Yep. Still aiming too low. Gonna quote Gotta Duke, readjust Duke the order. I've got balls of steel. All right, barbarian. Yeah, for movement. Four. Limping in the other room. One. Uh, one. One, two, three, yeah, go behind the uh, uh, the dwarf, please. Thank you. And uh, my, uh, my scout, uh, uh, with the scout I can only, I can only search for uh, for traps, right? I cannot search for secret doors. Don't remember. Correct. Okay. Okay, my scout will go behind my barbarian. South to my barbarian. Well, um, it is uh, after 5 o'clock here. I'm okay continuing to play if you guys are. Anybody want to keep playing? I can keep playing. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, I've got another 45 minutes or so. Yeah. Yeah, like, likewise, I can, I can do another half hour or so. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you know how we roll. Uh, we always just pick it up next time with whoever shows up. Uh, okay. <clears throat> All right. So after that, monster's turn. Hmm. Ah, one, two, three, four. You didn't give me an opening. <laughs> of course you didn't. Uh, let's see. Okay, we'll say how one. How much does the premier move? Three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I think they only move six. Okay. All right, it's the Chaos Warriors that are seven then. Yep. Yeah, I, I've I've never thought to upgrade their movement. Uh, that might be a, a good thing to do. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. All I can do is move them into striking range of you guys, not necessarily for me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. One, two, three. There's some sitting ducks. Cards to help me. All right. 
Heroes. Glasgow. Seven. Okay, can we go four west, one south? And I have line of sight, I think, to the Femir. Yes. Okay, let's take a let's take a crossbow shot at the Femir. One skull. Okay. As an elite, he defends with blue dice. Uh, let's see what he gets. Cha Ching! No damage. All right, swordsman. Swordsman, let's move four south. Okay, thanks. I guess I move uh, down south and finish my movement next to the swordsman. All right. And uh, let's see. I shoot the crossbow. Can I see the femir? Yes. Okay. I shoot at the femir. I'm gonna say yes. You can. Some would say no. I'm gonna say yes. Okay, go for it. Mythos. You. Two skulls. Cha Ching. Nice job. Oh no! Oh. Deflected. Alright, dwarf. Chaser. Hold on, wait. Uh, the crossbow can still move. Oh, fair enough. Okay, I'm gonna just move four steps to the right into the yellow room. <laughs> okay. Two, three, four. Strategic. Hiding. And I'm done. Yeah, because you know they can't reach you, they're slow. All right. Barbarian. Uh, dwarf. Or er, sorry, I, I guess I said your name and then I skipped you. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Jacer. Go ahead. Um, it's like going one. I'm gonna take Bueller, a shot. Bueller, skip your turn. <laughs> it's not that kind of game. Okay, so you take a shot at. Uh, honestly, I. Thought I only had a shot at the Femir, but well, if I I'd say you do, I have a, I have a clean, do I have a clean shot to both of them? Yeah, I'm gonna say so. I mean, I guess that's still still, still to the Femir. He can move the farthest. Okay. Okay. So you roll two skulls. Yes. Cha Ching. Reflected. All right. Uh, the dwarf moves one south, one west. Okay. 
Okay. It's up. It's right there, right? Yep. Huh. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to move. Let's see if I can reach the the Femir. I'm going, in front. I'm going to move in front of the um, blocking the door. I don't know if he's good blocking the door actually. No, uh, going in front of the Femir. Deer. And attack the Femir. So three black, one white. Nice hit. Three skulls. Okay. Really good. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> yes. Cut him down. <laughs> cut, cut his head off. Well, now we know. He was uh, farsighted. He could see the, the bolts coming, but he couldn't see the sword up close. <laughs> it's not. He was stunned by his abs. <laughs> hey, I was going to say he's only human. Uh, well, not, not quite human. <laughs> <laughs> and I stay put with the, uh, with the scout. It's a turn. Alright. So I've got my choice, but... Well, let's just slide to the side. Take over the Barbarian's field of view. Alright. Attacking with six, three skulls, barbarian, oh, suspense, whoa, <laughs> Kurgan, do I see the barbarian, but the question Blocked is, that, damn it. How, <laughs> how did he, how did he roll so many though, is he supposed to roll seven, <laughs> well, it's supposed to roll five, but were you using something that you just didn't tell me about, I was muted, sorry. I said I uh, used the, the portion of defense. Yeah. Oh. Defense posted the one. I was going to say, it's just like, ah, he just gets rolled. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was muted. Sorry. Got it, got it. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, you've uh, deflected everything and you get a wrestling move. Oh, well, uh, let's pick a random uh, wrestling move. Ah, uh, rude awakening. Very appropriate. He's uh, <laughs> a guy likes to uh, show off his appearance, and uh, he does some like uh, some uh, gyrations, and then, <laughs> bam! <laughs> All right, so that's a hit. <clears throat> Ravishing. All right. Well, I guess that's it for Zargon. So back to the heroes. Elf. Twelve. Can't get much better than that. Sorry. Uh, let's go all the way uh, to the north of the ogre. Two north of the ogre through the door. Right, and let's go one one further north outside the door. Outside the door, okay. All right. Immediately, you see both ends of the hallway, meaning 
this way you see a stone well I guess you already see the stone wall on that side but you also see another Femir back here let's see if he's an elite like his uh, partner there nope he's just an ordinary Femir Okay, uh, I'd like to use my careful aim skill ah. and fire the crossbow at the ogre. Okay, so roll your dice. One skull. So multiply by two, which means two. Okay, so I gotta beat two skulls. Could be a kill if I don't get enough black shields. Ching, and a hit. Still alive. But just barely. Sorry, that was uh, the ogre I was aiming for there. Oh. <laughs> Silly me. Alright, so I should be rolling three more. You need one more. They defend oh, with four. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's uh, he's even bigger than you thought. Okay, yeah, you're right. One more. Okay, so I still... Yeah, so I take one damage. But he's already wounded. So he's taken three damage total. He's got seven left. Now careful. Oh, God, he's also got ten body points. Oh, yikes! Mm -hmm. Holy smokes! Kind of liking this ten body point thing. Ah, nin yeah. Ninjork has highlighted his message. The air in the surrounding area grows cold, and even the light seems to dim. Ooh, getting spooky. We're almost into the month of October. Okay. All right. So uh, the elf did his thing, and swordsman. Yeah. Okay, swordsman. Let's go. Let's go four north, one west. And we'll pass on to the the bard. Okay. Oh crap! Only three. <laughs> the spoony bard. Uh, I guess I go just two north and one west. Mm. At least he. Did some stylish yeah. moves as he was doing those three steps, as if he intended to do it all along. Yeah. Nobody was buying uh, it. How many movements? Is it six movements or seven movements the mercenaries had? Um, or should I? Six. Row? Okay, six. Yeah, you don't need to roll for them. You just have the fixed movement. Oh, okay. I'm gonna... Sorry, can I just check that the swordsman can move five? Is that right? Yes. Thanks. Okay, uh, let's move the crossbow mercenary next to the swordsman. So, can he sh on the left side, on the to the west? Like that? Does he have line of sight? Yes. On the ogre? Yes. Okay, let's take a Let's take a shot. Okay, three dice. All right, one skull. Okay, so the ogre defends with four. Ow. Ching. Yeah. No damage. 
Yeah, I'm done. Dwarf. Four. Yeah. Well, I pretty much got everybody in my line of sight, so I can't really do much. Um, I guess just uh, three north. You could always search for something. <laughs> uh, let me search this room for secret doors. No secret doors detected. All right. And I just want to remind the party that they have four bonus treasure searches they can use anytime there are no monsters in the room. And those are safe searches. <clears throat> can I use a bonus treasure search then? Sure. All right. So that means we're going to ignore any bad cards. Honor monster. We'll just ignore that. No. We'll ignore that one too. <laughs> Poison, we'll ignore that one. Poison, we'll ignore that one. <laughs> Potion of healing. Well, what do you know? All right. 1d6. Hey, now I got two of those. <laughs> What's that freaking danger of blue? All right. That's it for my turn. On to the Barbarian. Okay. Uh, the Barbarian is going to do what we do. We can attack. All right, very good. Wow. One skull. One skull. Yeah, too bad you weren't a monster. <laughs> All right, so I defend with four. Ogre. Ching. No damage. <laughs> and uh, I don't move. We okay. scout. With the scout, I'm going in the first square of the yellow room. My turn. The mayor moves forward to attack the elf. Two skulls, elf. Combo breaker. Derp and Steve says, just as the room grows even colder, you realize the rotting husk, the rotting husk of Sir Telenor and some of his warrior corpses are there. Uh-oh. So another monster. Double upgrade. Triple upgrade. And a Chaos Warrior. Oh, I could apply the upgrade to him, too. Oh, okay. It's not done yet. <laughs> Matreya, Ninjork. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Chat's coming back in a big way. All right, so we've got a mummy. We've got a Chaos Warrior, and we've got another random monster. Well, it doesn't have to be random, but I choose to make it, so... Yeah, do I get a wrestling move? Yes, you do. I'm just losing track. Okay, five. Okay, so it's one of those.
Yeah, you most certainly do get a wrestling move. Let's power slam that Femir into the ground. <laughs> Excellent choice. All right, so you grab him, using his momentum to, like, crush him to the ground. Ugh. Yeah, let's see how many upgrades. One, two, three, three upgrades. Oh, so they're all they're all upgraded. Okay, amazing. <clears throat> I'm showing four upgrades. Oh, and two bonus monsters. Yep. The mummy and the chaos Lord. Yeah. And I get a skill. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so it's not all for the bad guys. They just want to see more more fighting. Let them fight. Let them fight. Roundhouse for the dwarf. All right. Dwarf gets roundhouse. Thanks, Wardicon, Matreya, and Injork, and Durf and Steve. So, Sir Telenor, <laughs> he keeps coming back. Monsters four upgrades. Got that right. Yes, four monsters, four upgrades. Don't worry, I got gotcha. you. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, it's still my turn. So the Femir, uh, let's see, six, da -da, da -da. okay, so the Femir attacked, but I haven't yet attacked with the Ogre. So Ogre attacks. Oh my god. Five. And you, and you might need to turn your mic up a little. Five <laughs> skulls. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Five skulls against the Barbarian. Yeah, thanks, Matreya. Oh, my... See, now you tell me. No, I, I appreciate that. Okay, so... Since I... I don't think I can turn mine up anymore. I'm just going to turn everyone else's down. Sorry, guys. Lock three... Can you turn ours down individually, or is it all yeah. together? Yeah, it's individually. Okay, I wouldn't turn down the um, Bohemius or um, Mentos or Mythos. Mythos. Yeah, don't turn them down because they're already pretty low. The fresh maker. I roll three defense. Okay, very good. Okay, so you only took two damage. Yes. And a, and a wrestling move. And a wrestling move. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, again, rub them. Yep. Or no, you blocked two. Yes. No, block, I blocked three. 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 three shields. Why can't I see it? Oh, there it is. 
Yeah, you did. Okay, so down to five. And a wrestling move. Uh, a random, random move. Sorry, <laughs> I, I don't know the name of the uh, the wrestling moves. I'm sorry. Okay, frog splash. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so you climb the. The turnbuckle that nobody the chandelier. <laughs> you, you swing ah, and you just like drop down on top of him. Okay. And you took a took another hit of damage. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Ferg. I don't think there's any way I can boost my audio even further, but let me just double check here. I think I've got everything maxed out. <clears throat> I'm still kind of recovering here, so maybe I don't quite have the volume. Yeah, I think that's gonna be that's gonna be as good as it gets. But yeah, if you're not hearing me, just let me know and I'll speak up. Okay, so there's that, and uh, let me just check something here. Okay, out of the foggy mist come Sir Telenor and his, his minions. So we got a gargoyle here. Got a mummy here, a zombie, and a chaos warrior. You couldn't see them before. And they are all elites. Every single one of them. Even the gargoyle. Oh, crap. Actually, that's an excellent opportunity. Stick and move, Elf. Stick and move. Thanks <laughs> to uh, Matre and Theodore, we got uh, some fancy ones too. We can use that one. These are 3D printed, of course, from. You said Cult 3D? That guy's pretty cool too. Okay, so all those monsters are revealed. I'll get to use them next turn. Elf. I think I heard stick and move. Okay, so let's use our let's use our longsword and we'll attack the Femir. All right. Sir Telenor grumbles, die. All right, got three skulls. Oh, nothing. Got him. Good job. Uh, from here. Destroyed. Do I have to put another sponsorship tag on this uh, particular video? So there's the one I painted, and then there's the 3D printed in color one. So pretty good, uh, pretty good results, I'd say. I think they look gorgeous. Yeah. Face only a mother could love. Okay, Matreya clarifies. Uh, they're from Carl Bark. Carl Bark on Cult 3D. 
but we printed them quite expertly I might add gonna do a time-lapse montage soon nice yeah these are much more impressive than uh, like the Hero Forge ones <laughs> and yes I did receive uh, those minis for free so thank you guys shout out to Mercantile there <clears throat> okay run health <laughs> okay so let's just go one south into the room again okay and um, we'll just we'll just stay put there I think they're staying there huh okay and uh, swordsman can we go th can we just go two north and we'll attack the ogre all right Better view. Is that like an epic fail right there? No, it was a wrestling move. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to make sure the ref's not looking and I'm going to hit him with a steel chair. Oh! <laughs> clang! <laughs> like, okay, so he hears a loud clang, he sees the dented chair. <laughs> like ah but his back was turned so no no disqualification and that chair was completely destroyed because he's got a hard head <laughs> right thank you <laughs> no problem ninjork <laughs> I appreciate what what fans do for the community, so it's always uh, always good. Ways always great or small. Okay, so the swordsman did his thing. Bard, the bard owl. Okay, I'm gonna place the bard at the entrance of the 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 room that he's standing in. So just south of the door. Yeah. And then I'm going to shoot with the crossbow guy at the ogre. All right. Let's fly with the crossbow guy. Two skulls. No defense. Two hits. So does he have two? Seven. All right, he should have three left. All right, barbarian. Whoa! Wait, oh, the dwarf gets to go. I was dwarf. Dwarf. Like, Jaser, stop taking turns. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's it's all because I, I started off. The mercenary is dead. I only get one turn. <laughs> I, this dwarf is too short. Yeah, he's like, uh, guys, guys down here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Don't forget about me. <laughs> all right, sorry, Jaser. Go for it. <clears throat> it's okay. Oh, 11. Ah. Um. Uh. All right, run me up into that hallway in between the two monsters. Ah, I think I know what he has planned. Uh, yes, roundhouse. All right. So roll your normal attack, but you get to apply it to both sides. Two 
Two skulls. All right, two each. Okay, so both the zombie and the cast warrior get hit. <clears throat> All right, first the zombie. Fun fact, the dwarf is black, just like on Amazon. Oh, and the remake? <clears throat> yeah, it's the darker nope, skin dwarf. Got a black, black belt and roundhousing. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, canonically, uh, the dwarf it has two different skin colors. Because uh, if you look at the... The Les Edwards painting on the cover, and you look at the character card, and you look at the Keller's Keep cover. So, right there. <laughs> but yeah, in the remake, they just kind of made it uniform. And yes, based on the White Dwarf mascot of Games Workshop Magazine. And you can find him in the third edition uh, Warhammer Fantasy Battle artwork in the core rulebook, which is pretty sweet. All right. You need to match the cards. Oh yeah, that particular design. Too bad the bard is an orc. Nay. Okay. Uh, so, ching, and then a hit. So yeah, you've you've killed the uh, you've killed the zombie. And now the Chaos Warrior. Just the inevitable defeat. Wow, nothing. <laughs> so two, two hits. Sir Telenor will not be pleased. <laughs> All right. That was an heroic. Right, now effort. the barbarian. All right, now the barbarian. I'm going to attack the ogre. These heroes are hard to kill. Must be seasoned veterans. Yes, indeed they are, Matreya. All right, two skulls. Ching, no damage. I'm not going to move. Oh, yeah. uh, that's it for me. Oh, so you, you're not going to move the uh, barbarian or the scout? Uh, no, 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 no. I need, need to attack the uh, the ogre there if I can. Yeah. Okay. All right, my turn. <laughs> Ninja Orc says, if struck down, Sir Telenor's curse will grow stronger. Oh, Ribby. Ribby doesn't care. He's going to upgrade a monster. Thank you, Ribby. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should probably... What do you think? We should adjourn in maybe about five minutes? Is that good with everybody or uh, death to the heroes well, yeah that would give you enough time to take your turn yeah upgrade well yeah since the say again I was just saying yeah sounds good to join in five all right it's been fun guys yeah all right so that so that means the uh the the ogre is now a uh, elite too. Whew. We're upgraded. He's definitely upgraded. I've never upgraded a, a an ogre before. I mean, he's almost dead anyway. He's gonna be pretty tough to kill. But you guys are pretty tough as well, so I think you can handle it. Super ogre. Never ogre. Okay. All right. He's an elite. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Is he really going to be able to balance on top of all this stuff? There we go. I did it. 
I need some I need some different tiles for these guys, honestly. It was a good idea at the time, but it gets a little bit crazy. Okay, uh um, you, you have another color rim? That way you can just put color rims on like a color rim on the uh, monster for the elite. That's true, I could do that. It's actually a much simpler idea. I was just thinking it's easier because then it would move with them too. Yeah. Yeah, I actually yeah. have. Ribby did give me a black rim, but I only asked for one, so I didn't. Uh... But you can definitely see the contrast in the color. Okay. Okay, so he's an elite. Uh, where were we? Okay, so. I... Okay, you got you got to send him some gold there, <laughs> Ribby. Send him some gold ones. He's gold in my elite. Ah, thank you, Ribby. That's a good idea. He drank the ooze. TGRI. Okay, I so I just totally lost my place. Okay, so I'm doing my turn, and I haven't attacked yet. Could start popping in the modern HQ minis in for elites. Well, that's that's another possibility. I'm already using a, a modern mini for for this ogre. Yeah, if I'd start, I could have been like, oh, here's the ogre, and then replace him with the with the modern one. That's that's another thing. It's true. It works for like the orcs because they're much bigger. Okay. Um. All right. Chaos warrior attacks the dwarf. It's gonna be devastating. Three skulls. Dwarf. Ching and one hit. All right, down to six. Okay, dwarf down to six. Backwards. One, two, three. He's almost dead anyway. And then the gargoyle is going to move forward and attack the dwarf. Two skulls. Two skulls. Dwarf. Ching and another hit. Down to five. Down to five. And a mummy. Mummy attacks. Thanks, yeah, I, I guess I'm getting tired here. Two skulls. Two skulls. Ching. Okay, no damage. Lock that one. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I guess the mummy is probably Sir Telenor. The uh Undead husk. Okay, uh, the yeah, the elite ogre has not attacked anyone yet, so he's gonna attack the swordsman, which is a gamble. Six black dice, four skulls. So you got five dice. Oh, shit. Cha -cha -ching. Okay, so you only took oh. one. You, su you survived. He lives. And a wrestling move. 
Yep. I, yeah, we definitely went to the wrestling table when we hired these mercs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the leg this drop, the most brother. Wrestling move ever from mercenary. Okay. All right. So let's see how many we got here. Leaning tower of tiles. <clears throat> Okay, well, this it's only eight, <laughs> but still. <clears throat> so he's down on the ground, and you drop the leg right on his throat. Boom. Ugh. He might have, he may or may not have torn his shirt right before he did it too. <laughs> it's like he's got chainmail on, but he's got like the shirt, and he like rips the shirt. <laughs> Ah. Oh yeah, yeah, the bard's inspiring tale. Definitely. You definitely got that, that back. Yes. Thank you. Which in the pirate conversion we called it sharpened blades, but same exact thing. It's recharged. Okay. Um I guess that's uh, that's game for now. Thanks, guys. I know it's getting a little bit slower there at the end, but uh, it's a lot of fun. Thanks for playing. It's always nice to have a full complement of complement of heroes. So thanks for DMing. Yeah. Certainly Thank you. Nice. And uh, if any of you are around tomorrow, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time till 10, we will be playing Rise of the Dread Moon. But if not, um, just keep in mind. Next weekend, I am on vacation. Sorry. <laughs> so October 6th, 7th, there will be no uh, HeroQuest fan streams. But I hear that some of the other people in the D HeroQuest fans Discord are setting up their own games. So who knows? You might be able to uh, hook up with one of those play sessions. I'm not sure what all they're using for technology, but it sounds like it could be fun. And that's kind of what I always wanted. It's like, okay, well, we've got the... Uh, the other Hero Quest Discord where they, they do a lot of tabletop simulator, but the more the merrier. You know, get those pickup games going. Alright. So thanks to all our players. Glasgow Bohemius. Get your name right. Jace, even though I skipped his turn yeah. several times. Uh, <laughs> Glasgow, and then of course Mythos. Also known as Mentos, the fresh maker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did it do a Okay, and thank you all the people in the chat, so especially all the people who cashed in all kinds of crazy stuff there at the end. So Elverg, Durf and Steve, Altibarian, Matreya, especially for the 3D prints, um, Ninjork, Ribby for, the, of course, the dice that we use, RPG Ash, who I still am not sure if it's the same Ash or just a different Ash. Hopefully he's a good Ash. And uh, thanks for everyone. And we can see if maybe there's someone we can raid tonight. Good game. Good game. Yep. The quest is not over yet. The prospector has not yet been found. But the search continues. Alright. We got some more uh, people following, which is cool. More subscribers. We've got way more subscribers than we've had in a long time. So I really appreciate that. I'm really humbled by the support. So it looks like Autumnus Prime, <laughs> different Ash, a good Ash. Ah, okay, okay. So we have official confirmation. That this is not Amalgam Ash. This is RPG Ash. <clears throat> but uh, one Ash to another. His name is John Cena. And his name is John Cena. Now, uh, John Cena is not actually streaming right now, so I think we could try to raid Autumnus Prime. I'll warn you, he uh, has a little bit of a body sense of humor, but if you're down for that, uh, he's a gamer. We can always check him out. So, Autumnus Prime. At least give him a raid. All right, thanks, everybody. Have a great night and good game. Thank good you. Night.